Odoo Sign is a fast and convenient way to send sign and approve documents. Prepare contracts by dragging and dropping blocks to the completed by the parties, submit signature request in a second and track the status of send document. So you can just get into the sign module. Once you get into the sign module, you would be able to see the uploaded templates over here. You can upload a PDF to sign or upload a PDF template. And by default, uh, the template will be filtered by my favorite. And you can also sort the uh, templates according to your need. Now, you can also get the templates as of the uh, tags. So if you want to get a template based on a particular tag, you can select that from here. And you can also get the templates in different views such as can, ban and list view. Now, in the uh, dashboard, you can also see uh, a tab called document where you can get all the documents and you can get the documents that are waiting for you and uh, as per your request. Now, let's see uh, how these uh, documents field can be created uh, and roles can be created. So, let's first upload a document in order to sign. So, in order to sign a document, uh, you can just click on upload a PDF and here you can just upload a file. So, I will be uploading the file which is employee termination. So, you can just open this uh, file. And here you can see uh, different uh, yeah, fields and all. So here we can also add fields by creating it from the field types. And you can set the type of the field and you can also set the roles. So first let me uh, add uh, some fields over here. So here we are going to terminate an employee as his uh, uh, period is completed in the organization, my company San Francisco. So we need to set a uh, certain fields over here now first we need to consider the name of the employee so after that we also need to consider the initial so you can set the fields over here and uh, so let me change this field as employee as the as this is employee we can set it as employee and you can see that you, we can also adjust the field so let me adjust the fields over here like we can adjust the width and uh, size of the field and here you can set the field as um, employee because we have to give the name of the employee and afterwards we can just read the employee termination letter we regret to inform you that we will be ending your term of employment with us as of so here we have to set the date uh, we can provide a date field and please consider the aforementioned date as your last date of the work and this is then in compliance with the minimum notice period required by your contract and you are required to return any of the company's material, documents or equipments to which you had access during the period of your contract. As with all employees, you are bound by our confidentiality and data protection policies you are enti entitled to be paid an amount of so here we have to set an amount field so in order to set the amount field you can just use the text field and you can just keep it over here and let me uh, adjust the size of this field afterwards uh, you can see that the amount will be uh, written here in accordance with the terms of the of your contract with we will be provide such payment during the month of following your following your notice period end and we would like to thank you for the contribution and we wish you all the best for your future sincerely the HR team so we have to get a signature from the HR team and you can set the signature of the HR team over here and you can choose uh, the field by person as HR responsible. And after that, we also need to get the date. So you can choose a date field over here. And we need to get a company signature. So you can choose the uh, company signature over there. So for that, you can choose the field over here and change the field uh type into company so the company will be responsible to provide the signature over here 
and here we also need to get the date and employee signature so you can just consider the field uh, of signature over here and you can just change the responsible person or field type into employee and you can just validate this afterwards we also need to get the date so you can consider the date okay and here you can provide the date field that will be provided by the employee and we also need to consider the name of the company so in order to provide the name you can just choose this field over here and let me adjust the size and width and every other things okay and this will be provided by the HR responsible and you can just validate this afterwards I also need to get the email of the employee so let me provide the uh, email here you can just give the email of the employee so let me adjust the field accordingly and here you can change field by as employee and you can just validate this after that I also need to get the phone number of the employee so let me provide the employee phone number over here okay and all those details will be filled by the employee now we also need to get a feedback from the employee uh, okay so you can just choose or you can just ask to return the items so if uh, to show that you have returned all the items just fill this box okay and you can just adjust this okay so let's adjust the selection field so if you want to make any options uh, like you can uh, set the options over here or if you don't want to set these fields you can just remove all these fields by uh, just considering this and deleting okay so if you don't want this field you can just remove the, all those so currently I only need these fields and let me consider these fields and send it now so in order to send this we have to fill the details of the employee here you can provide the name or email of the employee so let me provide the uh, email of the employee afterwards you can set the HR responsible so let me choose HR responsible as Abigail Peterson and you can also set the company so here I'm going to choose the company as my company San Francisco and afterwards you can just send this so once you send this contract click on send button uh, the employee might be getting the contract uh, in the mail and it takes a few seconds and you can see everything is set right now now let's back to my request and under the dashboard you would be able to see the contract that we have gen just generated right now so you can just remove this and you can get the employee termination from here I mean uh, the template over here and you can just uh, give the signature in these fields and if you want to sign this now you can just click on sign now and yeah let's see how can we sign this so let me fill out the details uh, first my company Chicago or something now you can just click on say sign now and let's click to start uh, to sign so here you can provide the name date and amount and afterwards you can provide the signature 
and let's sign that and you can also fill the phone number and the mail id over here and you can just provide other details afterwards click and the next signature is the my company chicago so you can just validate that and uh, choose the next option and here you can see the company will be signing and uh, yeah and click on validate for the next uh, signature so once the company uh, has put signature in this template the HR will be signing finally so you can just uh, choose that and here the HR will be filling the company name Chicago and the HR will be putting the sign as well as the HR will be providing the date in both fields and finally we can validate it and complete the document so this is how we uh, create a template and give certain fields as of our requirement in order to get the signature or or other details in the template now if you want to view the document you can view the document or if you want to sign for the next document you can choose this option so currently i need to view the document so i can see the document over here and if i want to download the document i can download that and if i need to download uh, the certificate i can also get that so you can see every details is currently given over here now let's move on to the reporting section and in the reporting session you can see that uh, the reporting is of ecological savings uh, by using electronic signature so this would save the paper and water wood carbon waste and energy so as we use an electronic signature or electronic um, way to put signature or for the documentation it uh, is non polluting the environment which is good for the environment so by using odoo signature module that would save your paper water wood carbon waste uh, as well as energy and hope this concept were clear for you and worth for you and choose uh, the sign module of odoo in order to create a non pollutive um, signature uh, in the contracts or templates so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video